what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video and i don't know what that intro was about but happy new year to you guys we are in 2020 now this is the very first video on my channel for the new year i just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support last year rode to 10k this year and beyond so y'all liked the last video y'all was really rocking with it last week so we're gonna continue this uh best moves of 2006 a great time for wrestling in wwe actually um he actually has all the parts up so we're just gonna go through one by one and check them out man so hopefully everyone's having a fantastic new year so far you know what i'm saying we just got a lot of great things coming to this channel and the in the clutch page and we're just trying to keep that positive mindset throughout the year man so let's get into it hopefully y'all enjoy your holidays and let's check it out hmm this was a good wrestlemania i want to say this is wrestlemania what wrestlemania is this I really feel bad that I don't know what WrestleMania this is. Hold on. Let's do some research. I believe that's 22. I believe... Google. I'm doing this live. We're doing this live. Yeah. That was WrestleMania 22. Yep, April second, two thousand six, WrestleMania twenty two. I, I had to check, man. I ain't, I ain't want to be the one of those people that didn't know and just said a random number. So sorry about that. I'm, I'm getting old, man. I'm getting old, bro. <laughs> Telling you, bro. Sheldon Benjamin was a fool, bro. This was a good WrestleMania. I think this was the first WrestleMania with uh, the Money in the Bank. Uh, ladder match. This was the very first, the inception of that match. Money in the bank. I miss it when it was just at WrestleMania, just like a a marquee match. Now it's a pay per view. It doesn't have the same type of like mystique to it because we get it all the time now. So now this was a good match. This uh. <laughs> This hardcore match, this was hardcore. Oh my god, y'all. This was <laughs> Edge was this was oh my yo, Edge and Mick Foley, they really they really put it all on the line, bro, to entertain us. That was hella hella dope. <laughs> the spirit squad uh. Dolph Ziggler Fun fact, I don't know if y'all know Oof. Dolph Ziggler was a part of the spirit squad I don't know if y'all know about that So, This was a nice Nice little visual, bro That was dope Look at that That was dope That was a good, this was a good match too. This was a really good match. Rey Mysterio, Kurt Angle, and uh, Randy Orton, man. Fantastic wrestling match. Ooh. The young Randy Orton in his prime, man. The legend killer. And that's when they were wrecking shop as tag team champions, the big show and Kane. God damn. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. It's lawnmower. Yo, wow. Oh, 
Bro, Shane, man. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. RP Umaga, man. Oh. That's a lot of weight, bro. Someone had mentioned on the last video that even Michael Cole's commentary was way better than what it is now. And this is true. Taz and Michael Cole on commentary for SmackDown it was pretty good at the time. It was still like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't the same as JR and uh, The King, but Taz, Michael Cole on commentary actually worked back in this time period. It was it was actually actually good commentary. They had a nice balance between each other. It's not much. You don't really hear that nowadays when it comes to cold commentating because it comes off so cringy and lame but back then it it, it 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 just worked it worked it was it, it was suitable for the time period oh wrestling in the threes this is this got to be backlash that feud they was having Shawn michaels and the mcmahon's going against each other that was a pretty decent feud <laughs> oh man <laughs> Yo Tag team, man. Tag team division was pretty. Oh, gee, Jesus. <laughs> Nuns, yo. <laughs> but like I was saying, tag team division at that time was pretty good. Oh, jeez. Bro, them chair shots, bro. It's just that. Jesus. <laughs> I hated the spirit squad. Ooh. He sold that kick though. <laughs> JR. <laughs> With the. No, no. Nah, that was a nice move. Ooh. Ooh. Jeez. <laughs> Oh man. Yo, angle slam, the table didn't break. <laughs> didn't the <t> <laughs> he, he, table didn't break. He said, I got you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the nigga squared his head with a chair. Oh. Oh my God, bro! Uh, so many good memories. Ooh, I don't know how Mick Foley even has any knees left. That's a lot of hype, bro. Ooh, ooh. Yo, Kurt Angle, man, he he was the guy on SmackDown, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is around the time they were really pushing Umaga as a as a very serious threat in WWE. Bro, Rey Mysterio was that guy too, and RVD. Rey Mysterio was that guy. Look at this, bro. 
Oh. 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 Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. That definitely was not supposed to happen. Holy shit. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, bro. It's just dog. The Mexicos, they were pretty cool, bro. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, man. They, when it came to wrestling, they were pretty cool, bro. Ooh. Ooh. Sabu was a savage, too. Oh, ECW, one night stand, man. This was a a legendary pay per view. Legendary pay per view. Oh. <laughs> oh my Jesus, bro. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh my. I don't know. Oh. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, man, bro. This, you don't get this. You don't get much stuff like this much anymore, bro. Like, this is insane. Look at this, bro. Nick Foley is a god among men. Oh man, bro. Bringing back so many memories, bro. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> You're not going to get that no more, bro. This man speared a woman, dog. Women weren't even saved. Ah. Oh. Such a crazy time. I'm not advocating for guys putting their hands on women, but I'm just saying that everyone was treated, for the most part, equally so. Women weren't safe when it came to getting into the ring. It's just they just weren't. So. Oh, look at the dent. <laughs> Bro. This is when RVD won the championship. Nobody wanted John Cena to win this. Nobody. Because he had cashed in his money in the bank. To uh, He cashed in his money in the bank briefcase to win it here. <laughs> he was going insane. <laughs> this is when they started with the ECW brand, which ultimately didn't really go where it should have went. Like it, it, it was, it was riddled with WWE's like DNA all over it. They didn't. It's not like NXT. NXT has its own feel. ECW was supposed to have its own feel, but it's basically it was just another brand they added to, to I believe it was on Sci-Fi at the time. So it didn't have its own identity, even though it was a different brand. They gave it its own championship, but it just, it couldn't. It couldn't really like match up because ECW has always been its own thing. That's what made it what it was. And then they tried to bring it to the mainstream. Didn't really last as much as it could have or should have. Oh, 
They built some decent stars on there. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Bro, I'm telling you, Kurt Angle was a goddamn suplexing wrestling machine. And there goes Mick Foley in his knees. Poor Mick Foley. Ooh. Sheldon Benjamin was a savage too. Yo, that is, that takes a lot of strength, bro. Ooh. Even Raw had some pretty good, uh, pretty good matches, pretty good segments. But I still feel like SmackDown just was the, the, the better overall show, in my opinion. Oh. Oh, oh, bro, he only caught the corner of the table, bro. Sabu just didn't care. He didn't care about his body. Most of people that was in ECW, they didn't give a damn about their body. It was all about carnage and destroying yourselves <laughs> for the entertainment of us. So, oh, man. Like, Mick Foley don't care about his knees. Sapu didn't care about his neck or his back or his body in general. Ooh. Telling you, bro, the Spirit Squad. Like, everybody hated the Spirit Squad. <laughs> the bounce on the green. <laughs> what was that? Oh, my. There's definitely some weird moments around this time, too. Oh. Ah, man. Very entertaining. Very entertaining. This is only just the second part. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Comment down below what was your favorite part from this video. Um... A moment that stood out to me, and it will always stand out to me, uh, WrestleMania 22, that hardcore match, Edge, Mick Foley, going through a flaming table, seeing that, was like, yo, what am I watching? This can't be real. They literally just set themselves on fire. That was intense. It made Edge, it pretty much catapulted Edge even more than where he was. It catapulted him into somebody that can really hang with a legend and the fact that Mick Foley was all about putting people over that was dope I enjoyed that Mick Foley is all about making sure the proper talent and everyone you know benefits from it because he he's had his time so for him to put Edge over as like this new hardcore individual i'm all for it that was a memorable moment for me but comment down below what was another memorable moment from this video some of the clips we checked out in part two or just a memorable moment from 2006 in wwe so that was one of my favorites but i appreciate all the love and support 2020 road to 10k let's get it and i'll see y'all on the next video peace